You can't beat hot chocolate made on a fire. If you agree, give the video a thumbs up. <laughs> Alright, so here's my main reason or support for this particular mug being, to me, the best drinking mug. Uh, I mean, I'm not saying that I've tried 20 different types of drinking mugs, but I'm lucky to have got, this is the second one that I bought, and I'm sticking with this for life. There's no, no reason for me to buy anything else unless the day that this thing gives up. So this is the Lixada. It's a 10 centimeter. Um, I think it, I think it's advertised as a drinking cup slash pot. But for me, why it's so versatile? So now it's a stainless steel. Uh, it's not like a high high grade stainless steel. So for example, it's not as good as the Billy uh, the zebras in terms of being able to clean it. But it was British pounds. It was ten pounds ninety or something ninety five, including the delivery. Uh, I think it is stocked here in the UK because it came pretty fast and um, it's extremely high quality you know you, you see that kind of price and you think all right I'm gonna get something that's really thin or there's some kind of faults with it but the stamping of it is extremely high quality it's really round edge it's really professionally made uh, I can't see any faults in the design and the main reason why I'm saying that this to me is the best drinking mug it's quite versatile you have this little thing to be able to pick it up most of the time you can pick it up and it's not too hot but either way you get your knife under there you can lift it up a stick whatever um, and what I like about it is it's quite hard so as long as you remember to put that up before you start boiling your water or whatever then everything should be fine the other ones are quite soft so you lift it up and it can actually just fall over so you still have to get your knife out and all that so that's the first point um, okay, so that, that's actually the second point because obviously I spoke about how it's stamped together really, really well, really solid. You, you won't be able to bend this very easily. The same for the cup. It's quite solid. Um, what I like about it as well, it's got measurements on the inside. So it says it goes up to 500 mil or 16 ounces, but they've said that this is up to 700 mil. That's obviously if you fill, kind of fill it to the top. Uh, so it can have a 700 mil or close to 700 mil capacity. I haven't measured it yet, but um, yeah, I'd say it's about 650 in my opinion. Because looking over there, there's the 300 and there's the 500. So to me, if you fill it to the brim, it's probably going to be 650 mil, which is fine. The main reason why I like this so much is because not only does it have the butterfly handles on the side which is kind of like every drinking mug should have that it's also got a hanging hanging handle and that doubles it as a backup to use as a cooking pot um, there are a lot of people out there who go for the 10 centimeter zebra billy can because they're kind of always camping solo um, but I find that this is perfect in cold weather I just made a hot chocolate in here I think I had a 350 possibly 400 mils in there and I regret not having more <laughs> but I don't have the time now to spark up another fire um, and that, that was yummy great you know the temperatures actually gone up this week uh, it was negative degrees a few days ago like on Friday today's Tuesday it's already gone up to nine degrees plus Celsius uh, minimum seven so I'm quite warm in here I got my Swedish um, army winter pants on and I'm pretty nice and warm I've got a Dutch army um, thermal top on underneath my my fleece and yeah so design quality really good quality of the steel is fine it's very cleanable um, I did burn something in there and I'm having a hard time getting the last final little bits off it's not bits but it's just like charred you know stuff that sticks to the bottom and I'm having just a hard time I don't want to scrape it to crap with a steel wool and stuff like that so I'm happy with it I, I'm not getting any weird taste out of that so I'm happy to just um, I don't know why I cooked in there I think I was just too tired and I didn't feel like cleaning out the zebra bully and um, I kind of do regret that now but anyway so 10 pounds 90 I'm sure you can get this in other parts of the world because it comes from its Lixardo comes from uh, China I doubt they're only marketing it here and uh, unfortunately I haven't been able to see only one I'm only finding one listing on eBay for this the other ones are the exact same mug without the, the hanger 
and I'll just say get the one with the hanger. The only downside of the hanger is that it increases the width of the of the tin. So increases it by about a centimeter. The great news is what I do is I have a zebra 12 centimeter and then this this inside this little bag fits perfectly into the zebra 12. You can still put things inside here whether it's a tinder kit or a pot of honey or all your little spices or other cooking gear. Um, I was kind of hoping that you'd be able to fit in the Lixada mini pocket hinged folding stove but it's just not wide enough. <laughs> it's just a little bit too too small. That would have been great. A stove plus a drinking cup plus space for spices as well as your main cooking pot all in one and um, yeah inside a thing like that. So yeah that's my video on that. Highly recommend this. Uh, weight wise honestly if you're gonna complain about this weight I don't know why you're into bushcraft I don't know why you're into camping <laughs> you should just like be on your couch and yeah uh, it's not very heavy at all um, if you're going hiking and you're carrying lots of stuff with you and you really need to bring down the weight then fine go and get your titanium stuff but try stay away from Chinese made titanium because I, I don't believe it's real titanium it's too expensive to uh, to make titanium and at the price that they're selling it at, I don't believe it's real titanium.